yeah, I'm Pimmy. Um, I am um, plying a, a yarn and um, I wanted to finish plying that and I thought, well, this might be interesting enough to uh, make a little vlog about um, because I'm ju not plying um, the, the most common uh, plying structure but a um, more complex one. I'm um, making a crepe yarn. Crepe yarn? No idea. Uh, it's um, basically uh, a half a cable. Um, and I'll uh, explain what um, uh, either one of those are. I want to um, make some, uh, some sock yarn uh, that is um, a bit more hard wearing than uh, a regular two or three ply. And uh, I, because I want to um, make uh, uh, some socks that I can wear in my clogs. And uh, that's the, the, the hard wooden um, shoe, which your clog is, uh, is um, a bit harder on your socks uh, in, in wearing through than uh, most shoes are. So I wanted uh, a hard wearing sock. Um, now, a couple of years, I think, um, yeah, two years ago, one and a half year ago, uh, winter 2000, 2018, I um, had a, an article in um, the sock issue of Prime Magazine, this one, brilliant issue, if you don't already have it, and you're into um, uh, knitting uh, socks and s perhaps uh, uh, want to try out spinning for socks, try to get your hands on, on this one because it's uh, fabulous and there's so much information in it. It's really packed with information. Um, and I did um, a wear test on uh, several um, plying constructions for sock yarn. I did six or seven uh, different plying constructions uh, like um, uh, a two ply, a three ply, um, chain ply uh, but also the, the bit more complex um, constructions like um, uh, a crepe yarn and uh, a cable yarn which uh, a, cra a cable is um, you, you see that kind of construction in uh, um, um, rope making um, more than you see it in spinning and uh, cable is a bit of an in-between uh, version of, of that and a, a regular two or three ply. Um, so I'm spinning a crepe yarn because it is um, a lot, uh, it consists of three uh, uh, spun uh, strands and um, it is a lot harder wearing than a free ply uh, but it's not as much work as um, a cable which is nearly indestructible and uh, I want to, this morning I wanted to finish my plying uh, but I have it set up now, so I thought I'd show you first. Uh, so it's still um, early in my morning and I'm not quite awake yet. Uh, um, but I'm going to try to explain this one because it's... Um, uh, you need to do se several steps um, to get the construction right. Um, where are we going to start? If you usually spin for knitting, then you probably uh, spin your singles um, clockwise. So 
the let's see if I can do this where I can make motions at the spinning wheel as well um, you usually spin going right your spinning wheel will turn right spin clockwise um, and you hold two or three you, two or more strands together um, for plying and ply counterclockwise going left now this is a, a basic um, a spinning and plying uh, construction um, and uh, what you see that I've spun and it, it's quite visible because I used um, uh, contrasting um, uh, singles um, I have uh, a light grey and a dark brown strand here and um, the light grey is just um, spun clockwise and I'm now plying the whole thing counterclockwise so um, that looks a lot like uh, a regular setup for regular plying um, but here comes the um, the crepe uh, part of the yarn the dark brown strand um, consists of two already plied singles and um, those singles are not uh, spun clockwise they're spun counterclockwise so what I did was spin um, two singles counterclockwise, my spinning wheel going left in the direction that you and the setting that you would usually use for plying. Now your hands need to figure out how to spin um, counterclockwise where you would usually um, your your fingers would be use, uh, used to um, spinning clockwise and, and manipulating the fibers as you do um, <clears throat> but now you have to figure out how to do that counterclockwise which is a bit of getting used to um, and, and, and twisting if you have too much twist somewhere and you want to draft out your, your fibers has to go the other way around so that, that's um, a lot of cursing and getting used to in the beginning and after that it's just oh I'm going counterclockwise let me uh, reposition my hands and um, uh, then you're off again um, so I spun two brown dark brown zwart bless um, singles counterclockwise now those were um, uh, spun with enough uh, spinning twist that they would um, ply up um, in, in a uh, not too tightly plied um, uh, yarn just a quite regular uh, amount of uh, <coughs> of twist which would um, end up with quite a quite regular um, amount of plying um, uh, twist in your finished yarn now I applied them which had to go clockwise instead uh, so the wheel going right instead of counterclockwise which is usually your um, plying se uh, setup so I applied clockwise the direction that you usually spin in and I didn't stop uh, after, after plying I ran them through the spinning wheel again to end up with um, 
a two ply yarn which had um, so much added twist that it behaved like a freshly spun single so um, I essentially made a, a single um, ready to be plied with enough twist to be plied but that spindle uh, that, not spindle that single um, is made up out of two singles plied together but it behaves like um, like a single ready to be plied here you see um, my little ball which is all that is left of my uh, for, for my uh, plying um, I'm quite sure that the camera is not going to pick up on it but um, uh, and even I can hardly see it but this single or this uh, strand um, behaves like um, a freshly spun single with enough uh, spinning twists in it ready to be plied um, it, it is actually uh, the, the two um, counterclockwise singles plied clockwise with added um, plying twist but this has now the same amount of twist as sorry for the noise the grey single which is a single regularly spun clockwise with enough twist to be ready to be plied so now I'm plying this in the normal um, direction of counterclockwise spinning wheel going to the left and I'm plying and as I ply um, a bit of the spinning twist is turned out of the yarn also which isn't too much but um, also the um, action of um, plying makes the, the two strands um, uh, twist around each other which you can see because the uh, uh, contrast between the two um, what it also does is that my um, uh, dark brown um, strand of, um, uh, uh, of uh, my dark brown strand of, uh, of fiber um, is relaxing a bit into uh, the yarn because during the, the plying it balances out and um, you see the two strands again uh, with the technical part being that um, uh, I have to add enough plying twist now that um, the two strands of the dark brown um, are running parallel to uh, the, the, the yarn again just like the fibers of the grey strand are so um, the fibers of the grey run in the same direction as the yarn and the two strands of the brown run in the same direction as the yarn and that makes um, a balanced out crepe yarn this is going to wear a lot long, uh, long let's try that again this is going to be uh, a lot harder wearing and we'll go, the socks made from this yarn uh, will go um, uh, a lot longer than um, if I would have done a regular two ply um, 
En uh, that's why I enjoy it as a, a, a sock yarn construction. And um, it, yeah, it, it's less work to spin this than a full cable, which is that I would have spun all my singles counterclockwise, spinning wheel going, it, going turning left. And um, then I would spin four, at least four plies counterclockwise, ply them two by two, creating two plied yarns, plied going clockwise. Did I say that correct? Um, so spinning would be counterclockwise, plying two strands together would be clockwise, plying them up again, running them again through the wheel um, to add more twist, and then plying the two already plied strands of two singles per strand again, but this time in the traditional spinning dire uh, plying direction of counterclockwise, which is a lot of work, uh, but it gives you a nearly indestructible um, uh, yarn and it'll even uh, take my husband uh, quite a while to wear through that. Uh, but um, uh, this is um, uh, this crepe yarn is uh, still a hard wearing uh, shortcut for that. Um, so yeah, um, might show off my um, uh, hand knit socks uh, in a while, might not, we'll see, but uh, you'll probably not um, uh, see uh, me being worn through and uh, darning holes um, within a couple of years, at least I hope. Um, because then I did it right. I <laughs> uh, hope to see you next time in the next vlog. Bye.